<laughs> um, back in 2016, Gish partnered with Giles Dooley and, uh, and identified some families that were Syrian refugees living in a tent city in Lebanon. Their circumstances were incredibly dire. I think you probably remember some of the stories we told about the families who were there. One of the kids, Koala, um, was living with her family in this tent. They were starving, and she thought that she might be able to help her younger brothers and sisters by eating rat poison and killing herself so that there'd be more family for the other kids in the family. It's an absolute more family, did I say? Did I say family for other kids in the family? More food for the other kids in the family? It's an absolutely heartbreaking story. And um, and we were able to raise the money to pay for medical care for the family, for, um, for education, for housing, and to relocate them. Um, and we've been paying for them since 2016. We have run out of money um, to support these families. And at the outset, we told Koala and her family that we would we would be with them until the kids were 18. Well, Koala is 17, and we want to carry her through the finish line with one more year of support for that family. And so Gish is going to donate um, $10,000 to Koala and her family through Giles Dooley and the Legacy of War Foundation. 100% um, of that money is going to them. There's no, no overhead on this. And... Um, and what, and we're, we're going to put together the money to do that through, um, gift scholarships and, uh, tier registration upgrades. So if you've already registered for GISH it, and you, um, upgrade your registration, you'll get some swag and, uh, some other little perks, but you'll also be, um, putting money into the pot to help Koala. And if you've already upgraded or don't feel like upgrading, you can just buy a gift scholarship for someone and, uh, chunk of that money will also go to support Koala. We're trying to do this in the next couple of days just to get Gish off to a good feeling start. Thanks, guys. I hope everybody's doing okay.